Hey, what's going on guys? Alex Peter here, back at it again with another YouTube video. In this video, I am super excited to be unboxing the brand new MacBook Pro. This MacBook Pro is the new redesigned model that just came out like two weeks ago. It features the M1 Pro chip, 16 gigs of memory, and 512 gigs of storage. This MacBook Pro is also the 14 inch model. You can also get a 16 inch model, and you can get MacBook Pros with more storage, more RAM, and a different chip, even if you want to opt in for the M1 Mac. But personally, this MacBook Pro is so good. Base model, which is what I bought, you do honestly. For a daily driver, you do not need to get anything extra with it. That's why I got the base. Basically, this new MacBook Pro features so many new things, like a new mini LED screen. It features ProMotion, a 120 hertz display. It has a notch because of a new webcam, and I think, honestly, I'm a fan of the notch. It's more of like a brand recognition thing, and I personally think it's a smart move on the business side of Apple. And most importantly, it features a brand new redesign new shell, new everything, and I'm just so excited to get into this. As you guys can see here, this is my previous MacBook Pro all the way from 2015. It's a 13 inch, um, honestly, I don't really know the specs of it. I think it has 256 gigs of storage or something like that. Um, so I'm basically doubling my storage here. And this has eight gigs of RAM. I'm not really sure, but basically this is a huge upgrade from screen to keyboard to webcam to just performance in general. This is an upgrade in every single way possible. If you guys are pumped for this video, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to this channel, and also turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload new content. And let's just get into unboxing it. So I'm just gonna use the pull tab that Apple provides. It opens very nice and smoothly. And you can just peel off past the wrap. Oh, that's so nice. I haven't opened an Apple product in a long time. All right, this is the moment of truth. The slow opening box. Oh, oh, it's so nice. It's just like a flat slate. Anyways, this is the, the top of the MacBook Pro. As you can see, there's an Apple logo right there. I am going to pull it out of the, the box. So here's the MacBook Pro. Has, as you can see, a new shell. It's basically just like a slab. Um, it's flat on the top and the bottom. And a little curve on the edges. We'll get to that later. Let's see what else is in the box. So here we have the designed by Apple in California box. And I'm just assuming this has basic things like a manual and Apple stickers that come in black because this is the space gray version. And I think that's it for the paper stuff. Um, in here we have, and I'm so excited for this. I'm so happy they did this too with the MagSafe cable, but they braided the MagSafe cable. That is so freaking nice. I just, I just like small touches like this that Apple includes. So I got the cable out of its little holder and it's just so nice. It's braided, high quality, and it obviously has the MagSafe connector at the end of it. Oh, I'm so happy they brought this back. Literally perfect timing because I did not want to give up my MagSafe cable from my previous MacBook Pro. And with the cable, we also have the 67 watt brick. There was also like a 96 or 94 watt brick that you could opt in for 20 extra dollars. But I charged my MacBook overnight and this already gives the new MacBook Pro such a fast charge. So I didn't think it was necessary. And if anything, it could hurt my battery more than it helps. So that's why I opted for the smaller brick, which still charges the MacBook Pro insanely fast. And with that, that's everything in the box. Now let's get into the computer itself. Okay, so here it is. This, it's so nice and heavy. Oh, I love this. Okay. Pulling the wrapping off. I like how they made the wrapping um, like out of this like papery material instead of plastic or whatever they used to do with it. Apple's being environmentally friendly. And it's also easier to rip and get things out of it. Holy crap, this is so beautiful. It's just, it's flat. It's so cool. I don't know if you can see this, but look, it's flat. Oh, that's so nice. It's just so beautiful. Oh, and as you can see, as you can see on the edges, we have the MagSafe to USB-C port and the headphone jack. And on the other side, we have the returning HDMI and SD card slot along with another USB-C port. So this computer is decked out. It basically, basically, you can do anything on it. This is so much fun. All right, but I didn't buy this computer for how it looks on the outside. I bought it for how it looks on the inside, the screen, the specs, 
So now, let's get into that. I'm going to open the computer up for the first time. Let's go. Okay, without dropping it, please. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. Let's take this off. And there it is. There's the screen. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. Oh, this is... Oh, look at the screen. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. This is the happiest I've ever been. So, a couple of things I want to show you right off the bat. The keyboard, it's actually now lined, the dipped part. It's actually black. So, it gives this like cool contrasty effect. Um, it's still metal, it's not plastic, which is really nice. The speaker grills are on the side, and we get the full, full top row back. No like half buttons, which used to be on the older Macs, and no touch bar, which honestly, I wasn't really big fan of and we still have the fingerprint sensor which is super nice trackpad is about the same and we have this beautiful mini led screen 120 hertz display too pro motion too which means the display frame rate will be optimized to whatever you're doing on the computer which is oh oh so perfect all right so i have the computer here just so you guys get a cool angle that is so smooth that 120 hertz is so nice i don't even know if you guys can see that but oh okay let's click enter and just speed through this setup process. I'm setting up this computer as a new device because personally, I don't really have anything on the old one that I really need to transfer over. So I'm just gonna set up as a new device, but oh, this is so nice. And the curved, as you guys can see, like the, the screen is curved on the edges, which just makes it look like really nice and bubbly and seamless. Uh, I'm in the United States. Oh, it's so smooth. I can't, I can't put it into words how smooth this is because of the 120 Hertz. I am going to just continue through all of these things. And there we go. It's setting up. Oh. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it. A little bit about the design. I just love the form factor of this computer. It's so beautiful and clean and modern. I also noticed one thing. They um, removed the words MacBook Pro from the bottom of the computer. I think that's just to make it a little more simple, make it look a little more nice. Um, I'm gonna go for dark mode because I love the dark mode. It just looks so much better in my opinion. There it is, there it is. Oh, that's so nice. Here it is, the brand new MacBook Pro. One thing that I think is super cool is how they integrated the notch up here into the taskbar. So it doesn't really block anything. It just is more of like an extension. So you get actually more screen space, which is very nice. Oh my God, guys, I just turned on the webcam because they said the webcam is like new and updated and everything. And oh my God, it actually looks good. What is this? Why does it actually look good? I, you can't really tell through the camera, but it's actually like crisp and everything. My previous MacBook camera would literally like, it would be blurry. It like, you couldn't see anything through it. It'd be so bad. Okay, I just searched up YouTube on Safari and literally just scrolling down the page. First of all, it's so smooth. Second of all, just all of the colors just pop. They're so vibrant. And this is because of the new mini LED display. Um, one other thing the viewing angle is literally crazy like I can look at it from this angle and none of the colors are faded or look weird None of the thing not nothing on the screen is distorted. It all is just seamless and nice and oh my god This screen is immaculate truly truly a revolution for This MacBook Pro one other thing is because it uses a mini LED display uh, Blacks just like on OLED are true black So it's not just like a backlit black like the Pixels themselves are off. And you can see on YouTube when you don't see the notch anymore because the ratio changes to 16 by 9. The you can't even see the notch because the notch is blending in with this black bar up here. That's true black. So it just looks so seamless. Everything about this Mac was just thought out. And I'm just so happy to use this as my daily driver for the next for, for the net foreseeable future. This is an amazing. MacBook Pro and not only that, but it's so freaking powerful. You can do anything on this I've seen on TikTok a dude. He doubt. Okay. It's Minecraft, but still he downloaded Minecraft and he was getting 150 frames per second on a freaking MacBook Pro like what the heck no way the speakers are so good I love this browser. I'm so glad they reached out. What the heck? We're playing some music right now We have my old MacBook Pro and my new MacBook Pro and let's see how they sound Okay, this is the old MacBook Pro going first. Okay, 
Okay, and now it's the new MacBook Pro. Oh my god. I could hear, like, the instant the ad played on this when I first went on a YouTube video, I could just tell. It was so good. I don't know if you guys could hear it through the camera. I'd be really disappointed if you couldn't. Okay, nice little touch. When you're on YouTube, usually on the old MacBooks, when you wanted to go on your, like, bar above, you'd scroll up and the whole page would just shift down to accommodate for the bar that's on top. But now look, if I scroll up because I want the bar, the bar literally just, it just takes the place black. That's so nice. This is why the notch is so useful. One more thing is, oh, I just really like this big, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can kind of see it there. This big MacBook Pro logo on like the, the bottom of the computer is just so nice. I don't know why. I'm just like observing all these little details and it's just, oh, I love this computer so much. I will protect this with my life. Okay, one more thing. One more thing I want to do before this video ends. Plug in the MagSafe. Three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more unboxing videos or other videos in the future, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload new content. I will link this MacBook Pro, uh, the Apple website, and everything else down below in the description if you're interested. I'm sure you guys already know where to go for it anyways. Um, and yeah, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.